Stay right there. Stay. Get back in that hole. Get back in that hole, you little... Got him. All right, Survivors Polly Jr. here, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. Hey, get out of the food truck. Who is that? It's one of the kids trying to get in. <laughs> it's a good thing I locked it up for the night. Um, yeah, we're back. We're back at base here, and we're sitting at uh, Robin's desk, just remembering Robin's sister Sam. Now that we have closure, we can uh, we can try to head back home, or or something. I'm not really sure what we do at this point, other than maybe find Alan's body. We gotta we gotta, we need to make a body for Alan, and then I think we'll be ready to end the series and move on because we've got the long dark chapter four. I guess it is coming out of the Winter Mute storyline, so we're gonna move on to that. And it's perfect timing. That's coming out this week. And by the way, I never noticed that Potato here has a uh, mechanical arm. <laughs> Must have lost it in a tragic accident. Eh, or something. All right. Um, let's let's go. Let us be off. I've got some tips from you guys out there about where to... Uh, why can't I grab my peppers? Grab the peppers. Um, where to find Alan's body. So we're going to go and hunt that down today. Apparently, there's a few more pieces we got to find. Um, we have to go back to the spiral, the spike, uh, what's the, uh, ice spikes, ice spike biome or something. So, we're going to bring our cold suit that we made up from the uh, snow stalker fur. Um, so, at least we get some use out of that. That's cool. All right. What else do we need since we're going to be going to the cold site? I think that's about it. We're going to toss this in brawny. I think this time around, and instead of the um, instead of that snow fox, I think we're gonna we're just gonna go brawny. So let's um, let's open up Brawny's backside here and put the cold suit in there, and we have a repair tube because apparently we're gonna be running into that snow worm a whole bunch or ice worm, whatever it's called. Good morning, Brawny. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thanks, buddy. Or I should say good good evening. <laughs> I think it's nighttime. But that's all right. We'll uh, we'll we'll take a night ride to the fire robotics center. We'll sleep, and then we'll have a nice whole day ahead of us to find this uh, this body part, which is apparently somewhere near the um, graveyard, ice worm graveyard. At least that's the information I have. So how about if we whip up some tunes here? Where's the tunes at? I gotta update this uh, this picture. That was Brawny when he was just a little feller. Now he's got um, all kinds of modules added. <laughs> all right, let's do this one right here. Divide, divide music, survive. Yeah, sounds great. All right, away we go to Phi Robotics Center, and then we got to go to the Crystal Caves next. So yeah, it's gonna be a we're gonna be doing a lot of traveling today. Oh, what's this? I'm gonna go right through that. I don't remember this archway. Huh? Cool. <laughs> all right, let's step on it. Step on it, foodie. Fire Robotics landing pad. I'll meet you there. Hang tight. Beep, beep. Oh, dang it. All right, here we are. Fire Robotics landing pad. Let's turn off the lights. And let's shut that music off. There we go. All right. Uh, oh, we're going to sleep, right? Yeah, let's hit the sack. Get a good night's rest. Yeah, num 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 num. All right, bright, beautiful day today. <laughs> Let's make sure we have everything we need. We're gonna grab. We'll grab the thumper. I don't think we're really gonna need it, but just in case. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna be inside Brawny, so I think we'll be pretty well protected. Brawny's got nice heated seats too, so that's always awesome. Eject. All right. Oh hi, buddy. How you doing this morning? Nice to see you. All right, gotta run. I like to I like to stick around and chat, but we got some important business to do. We're gonna give a body to Alan, the Welcome architect. Aboard, Captain. Thanks, pal. All right, up we go. So apparently, we need to go find the graveyard. So over the bridge, and oh, come on, Brody, step on the gas, step on the gas, bro. Can you get up the? Okay, going down. Come on, Bronny, wake up. Wake up! Bronny didn't have his morning coffee, apparently. Eh, there we go. Okay, good job. <laughs> so we gotta go to the bridge and to the right, is what I was told down in the comments. 
Oh wait, before we go any farther, let's um can you can you come down here? Squat. Thank you. Let's get that snowsuit on. Ooh. That's so soft and warm. Look at this. Oh, this is so nice. So nice. We don't have to worry about the cold. I mean, the temperatures are still pretty low here, and we are losing core body temp, but not very quickly. It's really, really slow. We have 70, 80% protection against the cold. So not too shabby. Of course, when we're inside Brawny, it's 100%. So we're probably not going to have to get out too much, if at all, I hope. All right, let's go find Alan's body. At least one bit of it. I'm surprised Alan hasn't contacted us to give us more tips. Because we found all the other locations that he pointed out, but he hasn't, he hasn't, he hasn't spoken to us in a while. <laughs> it's been kind of quiet. Hold it up, we got something here. We got alien architecture made by the architects. But it doesn't really lead anywhere. <laughs> But it's a good sign. I think maybe we're on the right track. Whoa. Oh. Oh, look who it is. It's Mr. Ice Worm. Okay, Brawny. Five damage. We can deal. Oh my gosh, okay, that was a lot more. Hiding under this thing apparently doesn't help. You can't kill him as far as I know. We're gonna have to get out and do some repair work. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Alright, he's gone. <laughs> Oh, just passing through, bro. Don't you start. Uh-huh. Rough neighborhood here. Oh, boy. He's back. But I think we found a tunnel. Well, I know we found a tunnel. Um, I think this is one of these ice worm tunnels, right? What is that? Copper? We don't need that. I don't think the worm will come into tunnels, even though, ostensibly, the worm has created these tunnels. Data oh, so strong here. are they? There is almost certainly vital information pertaining to my body construction nearby. Alan, it's good to hear from you, buddy. Where you been? <laughs> Thanks. All right, we have not been here before. We got all these containers here. We have not opened mesh and med kit. We don't need lots of med kits. We can't use a med kit on Brawny, unfortunately. New what is technology this? Technology acquired. Oh, Snow Fox Ice Worm Attack Reduction Module. <laughs> That'd be great if we brought the Snow Fox, but we deliberately didn't bring the Snow Fox because it got destroyed last time, and it wasn't really all that fantastic. All right, well, let's fix up Brawny again. Oh, not what I wanted to do. I'm gonna right click. Come on back down here. Where does it hurt? Let's see. Where does it hurt, buddy? Oh, right there. Okay, I got it. Anywhere else? Uh, right there? Okay. There we go. Good as new, my friend. Um, I think we're just going to leave Brawny there for one second. Holy cow, that's a long way down. <laughs> Almost slipped and fell. Yeah. This is the right place for sure. It's the alien architecture. I like this new suit, let me tell you. Uh, Alright, so... Alan says it's close. Alright, maybe we'll take Brawny and look around a little bit. Should we jump down in that hole? All right, let's let's continue. Let's keep moving. I think we're getting mighty close. Yep, there's the alien architecty thing. I'm gonna jump on down. Brony doesn't take fall damage, does he? Whoa, ice worm! Drill him! Inside, quick! Quicker, Brony. <laughs> uh, it's not really a cave, is it? Hmm. This just goes back out. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Visibility is really poor right now. With this blizzard and also nighttime, hard to see. But wait a second. Is that... I see green in the distance. Can't quite make it out. Is that ice or is that architecture? Oh, it's architecture equipment. Yeah. All right. Let's follow these. Can you go a little faster, buddy? Whoa. Can you fly when the worm comes? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> I don't want to get knocked off the edge. Um, I'm not sure which way I'm supposed to go. Oh, there's the worm looking around. Scanning in the night. Ooh, we got bones here. We've got bones. This could be a graveyard. There's more bones. 
I don't know what died here, but those are very large bones, some kind of critter. Oh, there it is! It's an ice worm, a dead ice worm. Ooh, what could possibly have killed an ice worm? Maybe the other ice worm? I don't know, maybe, maybe Marguerite was here. <laughs> Did we get anything from this ice worm? No. But this apparently is the, is the, uh, is the graveyard. So it's somewhere around here, this architect's body part. So we did find one of them already. We have the, not the recipe, but we have the ingredients right here. The skeleton, but there's a couple more bits to it, uh, which are down here. The organs and the tissues. So my guess is we're going to find one of those here. And then we bring all of the materials to the last location. And that's where we assemble Alan. Okay, I can't see anything. I might have to wait till day. Oh, stop your belly aching. Brawny, you're fine. Brawny was a little butt hurt there. He's good. Um, can we scan these? Oh, we can't. Ooh, ice worm bones. All right, there it is. Read all about the ice worm bones if you desire. All right, let's find a cave. Apparently, there's a cave around here. And it might just be easier to go on foot. As long as that ice worm doesn't show up again. Oh. Oh, there, there he is. Showed up. What's he doing? Oh, wow, look at that. That's cool. Yeah. He's coming this way, isn't he? Oh, boy. All right. Uh, let's see if we can see a cave from up here. Oh. He went back down again. Now, does he make a cave that we can go into? That would be cool. All right, I got to get back to Brawny. I don't see a cave in the graveyard specifically, but it must be around this area. We, we may have already passed it in the dark. I don't even know. Brawny, get down here. Never mind, I'll climb up. All right, let's move out. I mean, there is a cave here, and it's got the... It's got the cabling here, the architect cabling, but I, I'm pretty sure I came up this way. Maybe I took a wrong turn somewhere. Let's go all the way down, maybe. Oh, sorry, Ronnie. Oh, ho, 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 ho. What is this? <gasps> We're in. Oh, I think we found it. Brody, you stay here. Ow, why do you do that? You're supposed to squat first. And I think I can scan something here. Large emerald. Oh, baby. Can we drill this thing? Mining activity near these crystals suggests that they are valued for their applications in architect technology. Okay. Alan, are you here? <gasps> there we go. That's just a power cube. Just a little power cube. Ah, there's an emerald specimen inside this little exhibity thing. Let's keep going. Oh, here we go. Architect component looks like some kind of an arm. Ooh, architect ah, tissue. That is a rough way to go. Yes, I would not enjoy being crushed while mining iron cube components. The cold preserved the body well, but this isn't a big sample. Will it be enough? Our tissues are pluripotent, derived from the DNA of various species, capable of changing form as necessary. Ah, like stem cells. So what prevents you from, I don't know, ending up with hooves where your eyelashes should go. That does not happen. At least not since the fourth iteration. Um, so there's a dead alien under this rockfall. <laughs> okay, well that makes sense now. I thought it was like a mechanical arm that somebody dropped for some reason, but yeah, clearly there's an alien crushed down there. Alan doesn't seem all that upset about it. All right, let's have a look around. Can, I, can you just jump over that, please? Thank you. Oh, here we go. Ion cube. Special equipment is required. Um, I'm assuming we can do that with Brawny. Oh, yeah. We got the special equipment. Diamond-tipped drill, baby. All right. Let's have a look at this architect tissue. There's the description of it. And let's go check out the blueprint. There it is. Architect tissues. The tissue of an architect vessel. We need root, pustule, synthetic fibers, and gel sacs. We have all that back at the base, or at least we can harvest it. I think we have some gel sacs growing. Um, and now we have to get to the last body part site, which is in the crystal caverns. 
way under uh, um, under the wreck of the Mercury, apparently. And we're going to be bumping into some shadow leviathans there. So we're going to be heading down there with Brawny. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to head back to Foodie. And then we're going to get over to the Crystal Caverns. Which is pretty from Wow! Ow! Run it out, Brody! Step on the gas, bro! Yo, he mad. Whee! <laughs> Alright, we're back. Are we back? Yeah, we're back. Oh, that worm is so mad. So mad we escaped. There we go. Splash! Ah! Brody's so much more comfortable in the water, aren't you, buddy? As am I. Look how much faster he goes. So nice. All right, grab on. Let's fix him up one last bit. Can we fix him while he's attached? Oh, yes, we can. There we go. Tis but a scratch. Oh, oh, it's it's Alan. In Hi, Alan. Two of the three components required for the construction of my corporeal form. This is as close as I have come to autonomy in a long time. You have such a way with words. Is that? Sarcasm. It was. You're learning. Hopefully, I will not have time to complete my study. <laughs> I was wondering, if you can transfer bodies, why was it important to find a cure when you were infected? Couldn't you just make a new body? As you can see in the components you have scanned thus far, the forms we require combine biological and mechanical parts. The tissues you have scanned were developed from the DNA of 27 separate alien species. 27? That seems greedy. And wouldn't that mean that anything that infects a body you've manufactured can potentially learn how to infect all those other species? Yes. That is why a cure was imperative. Aha! Uh -huh. It's all coming out now. So they were like cyborgs, or at least enhanced themselves with um, like um, uh, augmentations. That's pretty cool. I guess. But obviously not without its dangers. Alright, let's get to the Crystal Caves and go dive in. And we'll find the next body part. The last body part. Oh, look at all the customers out today. Hi, buddy! Hold on, we're gonna make a delivery. Let them get close and then we'll, we'll do this. Oops. Zap them first because they are aggressive and they don't really understand how it works. Food truck. All right, let's grab something tasty. How about a, uh, let's grab a hoop fish. Yeah, let's go, let's go feed one of our customers here. We still have a job to do. So let's, let's do it. There you go, buddy. There you go. Eat it. Eat it. No, no, the fish, you ding dong. Go get the fish. What is wrong with you? Holy cow. I think, I think you got away. <laughs> That's going to cost you. You still have to pay for it, you know. All right, let's get out of here. We made our delivery. We can go now. Bye-bye. All right, here we are at the Crystal Caves. We're going to have to park Foodie up top here and then drop down with Brawny. Yep, there's the Mercury. All right, let's just leave Foodie right here. Let's level him out. Apparently, there's a mod that we can get for leveling. Because I never quite get it right. It annoys me when he's listing. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and eat. I think a salad is in order here. Fill right up. Mm -mm -mm. And I think I am going to heal up since we got bit by one of our customers. There we go. Full health. And we'll bring a salad with us. I don't know how far we're going or how long it's going to take. So we'll bring an ion cube, a battery, plus we got a bunch of spare stuff in the quantum locker. But we could be gone for a while. So, all right, let's do it. Warning: passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yes, ma'am. I know it's okay. We're taking Brony down, down, down. We go. Oh wait, now we've done this one all right. Ready, right? Yeah, that's the skeleton. We did the skeleton. Um, but apparently there is another body part here. All right, there might be another hole that goes down even deeper. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I think this is the hole. I think this is the right place. This is where the Shadow Leviathan is, the one that we saw earlier. And here's all the crystals, and yeah. All right. We did not explore this whole area. And apparently this is where the final body part is, the tissue. 
And, oh, you know what? We're going to have to go get all the materials, too. I didn't bring all the materials. <laughs> Oops. Oh, drat. Well, I don't even know what material we need for the, uh, the final body part. So we're just going to have to go collect it all and come back. No big deal. We got all the time in the world now, don't we? Oh, boy. That, oh, there it is, the Shadow Leviathan. Oh, gosh, you can go. Yikes, this guy's gigantic. Ooh, hide. Drill him. Drill, drill, drill. Drill him. Wow. Did a lot of damage. Uh, okay, we gotta get out and repair Brawny real quick. Hold on, pal. I know it hurts. All right, we gotta hustle. We gotta hustle. We gotta get down. We gotta get down. We gotta go now. Somewhere down here, I think. Yeah, we've not been down this far yet. Woo! All right, how far are we? Only 500 meters. We can go up to 1,100, so this is not a problem. Oh, look at that. Cockroaches down here, too. Of course there are. <laughs> Those things can survive anywhere. <laughs> Little baby rock grubs, whatever the heck they are. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Is that loose crystal? Because I should probably grab some. Kyanite. Yes, that's what we wanted. Grab a few things. Sure, why not? Oh, no. Oh, boy. Eh, no. Stop. Back up. Back up. Oh, here he goes again. Oh, this is not good. I'm glad the drill chases him off a little bit, but I don't think it can kill him. Let's follow this tunnel. All right. Are we safe here? Hold on. I gotta... I gotta fix up the bronster. Yet again. Okay. I think we're alone now. Let's keep going. What is that purple stuff? Nothing. Let's not get distracted by other shiny little things here, huh? Gotta find this body part. Hopefully Alan will pop up and tell us when we're getting close. It is a tight squeeze down here, but at least it's safe from the le Leviathan. Oh, boy. There he is. There he is. Ah! Can he reach us down here? I don't think so. <laughs> Can't get us down here, big feller. Go pick on somebody your own size. Or something small. That'll fit in your big, fat mouth. All right. It looks like we can, we can go down even farther. Holy cow. Wow, this place is enormous. We're looking for alien architecture of some kind. It's usually the dead giveaway, right? There's a lot of resources down here, too, so we might be able to... Um, oh, wait, hold on. We might be able to find all the resources here that we're going to need. Do we have a propulsion arm? Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, I, I hope we can get everything that we're going to need here. I do have some stuff on Foodie. I did bring the diamonds and the plasteel and the uh, polyaniline. But the other stuff we're going to have to track down. I'm just going to keep going down. Down's always good, right? Oh. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> wow. Ooh, what is that? Nothing. Look at all the kyanite down here. Silver. Okay. We have everything. I thought we were on the right track. But at least we know there's a lot of resources down here if we need them. In fact, we might as well grab a little bit. Just in case. Oh. My Alan. And yet I feel certain there is something important below. A facility or a body component. Perhaps both. I cannot tell. Okay, great. Thanks, buddy. Seems like we're on the right track. All right, great. Um, but I feel like I'm just going around in circles. <laughs> oh, hey, you hit me, man. It came right at us. You see that? Oh, wow. Look at the size of this crystal cavern here. So much purple and a diamond. I'm going to grab it. All right, I think we're getting close. I hope so, anyway. Oh, is that a hole? I think we're going down. Going down, down, down into the purple crystals. I don't see any architect architecture, but it's got to be around here somewhere. There is definitely something of value nearby. It could help you build my body. Yes, indeed. Right, just stay right there. Stay. Get back in that hole. Get back in that hole, you little, 
Got him. <laughs> Drilled him to death. Oh, there's another one. The little mines. All these mines. Get him. Pop them. They pop them like balloons. Holy smokes. I'm still going down. 784 meters right now. Oh, there's the alien stuff. An alien light. Fantastic. All right, this is it. This has got to be it right here. Dropping down 800 meters. It's still dropping. All those little blow-up fish down here. Oh, I see a door. A gateway. This is it. I'm going to go right in with Brody, I think. Can we? Uh-oh. Oh, oh whoo! Wait. No, I guess Brody can't fit. Okay, well, sorry, Brody. You get away here, pal. Thanks for everything. See you on the other side. Okay, there's, um... There's no water here. How do I turn on my light? Nope, it's already on. Okay. All right, let's go see what we can see. The last body part. It's the blueprint for it, and then we'll whip it up. And we'll give Alan a body, finally. Can't wait to meet him! Seems like a fun guy. Or a thing. All right, oh no, the little crabbies. I think they're relatively docile. Hi, buddy. Yeah, oh. Oh, that's some nice artwork. Architect component. Let's scan it. Constituent you parts. You will construct bionic organs with the scanned material, both primary and secondary. Our designs provide for redundancies. Given your current location, I think they could still be improved. Your feedback has been noted. You have scanned all the components we need to make a storage... Uh, body. Are you excited? Using the chemical compounds available in your body, I am able to approximate what you might call cautious optimism. Fantastic! We got a little emotion out of Alan. Teeny weeny bit. And now we can go back and get all the ingredients. In fact, let's check out what we need here. You know what? We have just about everything within reach except for the synthetic fibers. And the root pustules. Drat. And synthetic fibers need to be fabricated. We can't just find them laying around. So I am going to have to go all the way back to base. Grab those last few items. And then come all the way back. <laughs> oh, drat. I mean, I could have cheated and looked at the wiki and figured out what we needed for these parts. But... That's no fun. I don't mind discovering it. Alright, I'm gonna head back to base. It's gonna take quite some time. So hang tight, I'll be right back in a jiffy. Yeah, you missed. Going down. <laughs> 